Well, hello there, mortals. Welcome back to another Elden Ring episode. Today, I'm going to show you something very, very interesting. Um, it's a glitch that makes you immortal, as you can see from screen now. We're getting hit, but we're not dying. You see, we're impervious to magic, fire, lightning. And holy. And if you do this before a boss fight, you're basically unkillable. You can change your armor, switch your weapons out, change your talisman, your rune arcs. You can literally do anything and heal unless you rest at the side of Greg's. And that will reset everything. But as far as I know, you can basically do anything. So. Let me show you how to do this with my in-depth guide that other videos don't show you. When done right, your magic negation, fire, magic, lightning, and holy should be 99. First, you need a weapon that has the art of war, seppuku. And you need to double wheel it and stab yourself. Next, bring out your shield that has holy ground and cast it. Then drink your crimson hori bubble tear flask. Step out of your first holy ground, recast another holy ground, count to 10, and then slowly step out before your crimson hori bubble flask has ended. And if you've done this right, you can see here your magic, fire, lightning, and holy damage negation is at 99. And you know that you've done it perfectly. Another few important things that other videos don't tell you is that when you do apply holy ground on any shield, make sure it's on sacred, okay? Not normal, not heavy, sacred. If you don't have it on that, it won't work. And your timing to do and execute this glitch is very, very important. You guys want to know where to get seppuku? Crimson Hori Bubble Tear and Holy Ground. Don't worry, I got you covered. If you guys have any one of those items, just skip to the timeline and let's do this. All right, guys. So the first thing on the list is Seppuku. We're here in Freezing Lake on the mountaintops of the Giants located here. So follow me, guys, and I'll show you where to get it. Get on your horse torrent. It's just over the tree line over here. You'll see some flying jellyfish. What we're looking for is a invisible scarab. There it is. Do you see it? Footprints. So in order for us to get this, we need to stand in its path and swing our sword the moment it crosses us. I want to say a big shout out to our new subscribers, Swift Natsu, Alduin the World Eater, Codename Gabby, Elong Zymir. I hope I didn't butcher your names, but <laughs> thanks guys for the sub. So there's an easier way to do this. This is what I normally do is use my Horse Stomp Frost Art of War. <laughs> you see? So much easier, right guys? There it is. The Ash of War, Sopuku. That's the first item that we need. So if you guys are new to my channel and haven't subscribed, please ring that bell notification so you don't miss up on any Elden Ring content and join the Immortals. Alright guys, let's move on to the next item on the list, which is the Crimson Hori Bubble Tear that we're gonna use in our Flask of Wondrous Physics. So, as always guys, get on your Horus Torrent and follow me and I'll show you where the exact location and the fastest way to get there. So right guys, with this so-called glitch right, I'm also wondering if you actually combine it with Malena's red rune, 
and perhaps God Skin's Talisman that heals you on multiple hits, and the Blasphemous Blade with Taker's Flame that actually also heals you on uh, hits, and maybe consuming a Boil Crab. You can basically tank anything and your physical resistance will be totally ridiculous, right? And if you do that basically before a boss, <laughs> I think nothing can take you down. So right guys, it's just over here. Watch out for these hands, double jump. And it will be right around the corner where you will find your Crimson Hori Bubble Tear. Here it is, guys. Oh. Alright, let's get out of here. So the last and final item, guys, will be the Holy Ground Asher Core that's gonna be used on any of your shields. And like I said in the very beginning, make sure when you apply it, you select Sacred. Make sure it's not normal. Make sure it's not heavy. It's sacred. So follow me on this path and I'm gonna show you the fastest way to get the item. Alright, let's jump down here. Careful of these guys. And one more here on the right hand side. Okay. We need to chillax here for a while till the chariot comes back now. Okay. Let's go. Now we need to move to the left. Let him go up. Go over to the right. So the uh, cherry on the left doesn't squash it. And again to the left. And that cherry will respawn. Wait for it to come down. Alright, let's proceed forward. And slowly drop down to this beam here and we'll proceed to the lower levels what we want to do is to raise one of the fire pillars which is going to take out the two chariots that's going to drop our item that we want and with the tree sentinel armor set that we're gonna pick up too along the way if you guys are new here make sure you subscribe to the channel it helps me out a ton and also helps you don't miss a video while you're at it please like the video and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single one that we release i try to drop a video every day if possible do leave a comment down below i'd like to hear what you guys think of my videos and what you think of the game or if there's anything you guys like to suggest that i do on my channel i would like to hear from you so here it is guys this is the fire column what we need to do is whack it it goes up now from here on what we need to do is to kind of pour it out to the beginning? Oh, we can't. Oh, okay. I guess we need to step in front of this fire here. <laughs> Let me drink my pot. All right. That'll bring us back to the beginning. Right. So for Huron, we just need to run back down here guys almost there almost there now you can see the chariot is there right oh that was a close one <laughs> and we need to hop down here again like before guys I want to thank you so so much for all your support uh, I've been getting quite a lot of subscribers this month and it's been amazing man. I hope you guys are enjoying Elden Ring as much as I am, but <laughs> it's been a hell of a journey. Alright guys, there. There it is. Our Ash of War, Holy Ground, and our Tree Sentinel Armor Set. 
all right guys thanks so much for watching hope you guys have an amazing amazing day and do sub to our channel so until next time guys our review later